Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsports, ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. For all things Vespa, both modern and vintage. Here I got a 2019 GTS 300. Had to dress it up a bit versus just the stock appearance. It's got a windshield on it, but more important, it's got our exclusive front rack and crash bars from Faco. We've had these specially made from Faco. It's a complete kit with both the front rack and the crash bars mounts to pretty much any GTS. Part number on this complete kit, if you're dealing with a 2016 and earlier GTS, GTV is super 250, 300, 200. Part number is gonna be GTS 1113F. If you're installing this on a newer bike that has a side stand with the scooter, you're gonna need a couple extra parts and the complete kit that includes the special parts to install this combination with the newer bike is part number GTS 1113F-E4. Euro 4 is what that is, because they now include the side stand. There's a safety switch that you're gonna to need to remove in order to install this combination. If you're installing this on a touring model that includes the Piaggio front rack, you're gonna to need to remove the front rack that has holes that go through the horn cover. Um, same with the, the later model GTV 300 that includes a front rack. That's the only way you're gonna be able to use this. You can't easily modify this kit to work with the Piaggio rack. Uh, the rack has the same functionality as the original Piaggio rack at a much lower cost. It's all quality made Italian chrome parts from Faco. We've carried their products for as long as we've been in business, well over 25 years. They've been making accessories for the vintage Vespa and now the modern Vespas. Um, you could see that there's no holes drilled. If you watch the video for installation of the original Piaggio rack, you need to drill holes into your horn cover. This rack setup is unique. It just hangs from the upper leg shield with these rubber clamps and it has a mounting point right in the center that has rubber on it. So no holes are drilled into the scooter to install this complete setup. And not only do they add a visual kind of vintage uh, touch to your scooter, they protect the leg shields. You know, one thing, if the scooter falls over, it's gonna make contact to the sheet metal and this, this beading on the edge, this will prevent this. It's very solidly mounted once you have it all bolted up. So this front crash bar and rack setup is rather easy to install. It would take, I would say, anywhere from a half hour to a little over an hour, depending on your experience with tools. Just with basic tools, minus a spring puller, if you're installing this on the 2017 model where you need to mess with your side stand. Um, pretty straightforward to install. Keep in mind, we also have the matching rear crash bars that go along with his whole front setup. GTS 12F or GT12F, depending on if you have a GT200 or a GTS250 or 300 GTV. Uh, slight variations, they pretty much look the same, just slight variations in the bracketry. All right, let's jump on to installing these here. To install the front rack and Faco crash bars, just need some basic tools. Starting out with a 10 millimeter combination wrench. This is a ratcheting style wrench, makes the job a little easier, not necessary, but helpful. You're gonna need a four millimeter Allen key of some sort. This is ex extended reach Allen with a ball end that attaches to a 3 8 ratchet. You don't necessarily need one this sophisticated. You could just use a standard L-shaped Allen key, a 13 millimeter socket to go with 3 8 ratchet. If you're dealing with the older model, a number two and number three Phillips driver. If you're dealing with a model that's 2011 newer, a T30 and T25 Torx screw, screwdriver. For 2017 and later that include the side stand with a safety switch on it, you're gonna need a couple tools to swap out the safety switch for the standard bracket. A spring puller, we sell this part, it's tool spring. A five millimeter Allen key and a small set of diagonals to cut a single zip tie. Let me go over the pieces that are included with the Faco front crash bar and front folding rack combination. Starting with the front rack, you have the paper installation instructions. You have the lower bracket to attach the rack. 
the pair of rods that hold the, rod, the front rack to the scooter, the crash bars themselves, the front rack. Keep in mind, both these have to be used together. The mounting tabs up at the top of both the rack and the crash bars uh, tie them together. The best part about this kit, there's no drilling in the scooter, unlike the Piaggio original front rack. Pretty straightforward, reversible installation if you ever needed to. If you're installing this on a 2018 or later US model Vespa with a side stand or 2017 and newer, the kit includes both the side stand mount without the safety switch and the safety switch bypass. Keep in mind, if you don't have the safety switch on the side stand, it could potentially be more dangerous to use. You know, you have the engine running with the side stand down. Just keep that in mind. Only on the 2017 and newer. If you buy the kit for the older model, these two parts aren't included. On to the rest of the parts for the crash bars. This is the lower mount that's underneath the scooter and all the hardware to hold the crash bars to the lower mount. And last but not least, the paper instructions in both Italian and broken English. We'll start by installing the front rack before you put the crash bars on. Drop the front rack in place, you're done. No, just joking. Uh, you got the two rubber pads that do make contact with the painted surface. Uh, you wanna get these positioned so they, they make even contact with the, the frame. So you can kind of see it makes pretty even contact all the way around. You wanna look at the front of the scooter, kind of make sure the rack is as centered as you can get it. Then we'll install the lower mount of the front rack. Tip the steering all the way to the left or right. And right in the center of the frame, you can hook this rack mount right here. So right now, this is a little bit uh, far, far away. So sometimes you need to um, bend this in a little bit. So just take this part and you could bend it by hand. Doesn't take much force and go ahead and hook it onto the frame. You know, keep in mind if, if you don't want the metal touching, it needs to be about a half inch away from the frame. So it may take several small little bends to get it kind of in a good spot. And also this rubber piece will kind of move. That's there to protect the paint, painted finish of the scooter so you don't have metal to metal contact. Sometimes you could use a pliers to kind of make some adjustments to the bracket. Set aside, you want to take the pair of, of rods, start with a, one of the included nuts, thread it all the way down the threaded, threaded section of the shaft, repeat with the other rod. They're both uh, identical. Drop a washer on each one. So you got the shaft with the nut just barely threaded in. And sometimes you gotta bend the, the rod just ever so slightly so you can get it engaged into this front bracket here. Make sure it stays hooked into the front of the frame. Repeat with the right side. And you get, again, you can see it may need a little bit of bending to kind of get that in to position. Double check that the rack is centered. And now we can go and tighten the two rods. And I found the best type of wrench for tightening the rods is uh, the combination with a, a ratchet on the one side. And you're gonna wanna go between the left and the right side because it's gonna wanna you know, pull a little bit on each side. You can even help it along.
And is what I find is you don't want to over tighten these, but you want to tighten them to where you have about the same amount of threads exposed on both sides. And right now, I would say there's about an eighth inch, three millimeters between the rods and the bodywork of the scooter. If you tighten these too much, the rods will touch the paint, paint work of the scooter, not a good thing. So I go ahead and tighten the lock nuts. Now I typically get this where the little rods point out about the same amount on both the left and right side. There you go, got the rack installed. So on the 2017 later models, we're gonna need to change out the system for the side stand. Start by removing the battery cover, T25 Torx star, star style driver to remove the four screws that hold the cover. Have the battery under here. Take your T30 driver, remove the strap. You can see the scooter also has the battery tender lead. A lot more convenient if you need to charge a battery. If you have a battery tender lead installed. Remove the battery, just the standard number three Phillips. Best to start with the negative side, and then you can go on to the positive side. Pull the battery out. And inside the battery ca cavity is the side stand safety switch connection, and it's attached to the battery uh, tray. And you can go ahead and pull this little rubber bit up and on the side with a little loop is, is the tab that will release the connection. So you wanna push the tab with a small screwdriver of some sort, and then you can separate the connection. The black pair of wires go to your switch. The other pair go to the wiring harness on the scooter. You want to take the jumper lead and go ahead and plug that in. Make sure it snaps in place and you could just leave that off to the side of the battery, battery cover. Take a spring puller and part number for the tool to pull the springs is tool spring. So get the spring puller between the pair of springs and go ahead and dismantle the spring setup for the side stand. You can see the safety switch is located right here. We'll take a four millimeter Allen and remove the switch. Take a five millimeter Allen driver and remove the side stand bracket. and switch assembly here. And the second screw that retains you're going to need to cut the single wire zip tie. And through the grommet, you can pull the, the side sand safety wire out. Set that aside, it's now no longer needed. You want to take the new bracket for the spring perch mount and just reuse the screws and mount that back in place. Okay. 
So take your uh, spring tool hook and carefully pull the springs. Pull them past the, uh, the mount and now the spring is hooked back in place. So we'll take the Faco lower crash bar mounting bracket and there's a pair of a pair of pegs that go up into the two holes that are located in the frame. So get those in place. And you see the two threaded screws? They line up with the pair, the pair of holes that are already in the frame. And once, once those are lined up and this part is flush, you could take a 13 millimeter ratchet and go ahead and tighten the two nylock nuts. 13 millimeter socket will do the trick or even a 13 millimeter combination wrench. So you can see I'm holding the bracket in place as I'm tightening it. And now the lower mounting point for the crash bars has been installed. So take your left front crash bar. You can tell the left side because it has this little extra piece of pipe that protrudes from the top part of the tube. Take one of your uh, screws with the large flat washer and go ahead and straddle that right onto the rack. Put the screw in place. You know, take, take extra care not to accidentally drop the crash bar across the bodywork of the scooter. Wouldn't be a good thing. I'm holding, holding the screw in place and I'm gonna get the, the, the nut just started. So now that's started, now we can move to the lower mounting point. Again, you could take a flat washer, one of the button head Allen screws, get it through the bracket, and get the nut started. Right now everything's loose, and I wanna leave it that way until we get the right side in place. So go ahead and plug the crash bar into the right side so it's flush. And while I'm holding this, I'm getting the nut started just by hand. This is a little bit tricky, kind of getting this started by hand. See, I'm using my elbows, elbows to hold the, the front rack down, but I have that started right now. So line up the lower crash bar mounting post to the mounting point that's been installed in the frame. Go ahead and install the bracket. And now that we have both sides in place, I would start by tightening both the right and the left lower mount. We'll move to the upper crash bars. Make sure these are both flush. And carefully put your nut, your combination wrench behind the crash bar and go ahead and start to tighten the fastener here. So job's nearly complete. Put your battery back in. Once you get the battery hooked up and the cover back on, you're gonna need to set the uh, clock on your scooter. So now that we got this all installed, pretty straightforward to install as you saw. Got the front folding rack. You can roll up your Mexican blanket up there for the picnic. You can hold this down with a bracket and put a small piece of luggage. Keep in mind, if the luggage is too large, it may be in the way of the uh, headlight. Um, another option is you can mount 
light, lights on this. I've done everything from a modern light bar mounted off the lower part of this uh, front rack. Looks pretty good and also is very, very functional. Another option is go for the old school mod look. Put a pair of like five, five and three quarter spotlights, four inch spotlights, three inch. Pretty simple to wire. If you look at some of our past videos of GTSs and vintage Vespas, we've set them up with the mod style. Once you got the front crash bar and rack setup, you got the foundations to mount those kind of fun accessories to your scooter. I uh, want to keep these racks up, being chrome. You know, chrome will rust over time. I would recommend just putting regular automotive wax on them every two, three months, especially if you park it outside or you live near the ocean where you have a lot of corrosive uh, seawater or air and you know, salt in the air, whatever, as we do here in San Diego and Hawaii and other places like that. Uh, keep them up, they'll last quite a long time. Uh, just check the hardware occasionally. But pretty straightforward, hope everybody liked that video. Again, we have the rear ones that match. We also have the original Piaggio rear crash bars that will work. Piaggio does not make a front set of crash bars for the GTS. This is a Scooter West exclusive setup for the front rack and crash bars. Until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport, Scooter West. Check out all our other videos. We have well over 400 videos as of 2019 for both modern Vespas and vintage Vespas. Follow us on Instagram, Vespa Motorsport. Follow me on Instagram, Robot Vespa.